Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today, we're continuing in our Ecto Basic series, and the topic is associations. Let's take a look at our app. So we have a simple app, which is a social bookmarking tool. It's kind of a clone of an app called Delicious from 10 years ago or so. And we have a few schemas already added, or we have a few tables in the database. We've made Ecto schemas for them, but we don't have any associations set up. So for example, if we look in our bookmarks schema, we have a field for link IDs and for user IDs, but we don't actually have any uh, association defined. So we're going to do that today for some of the associations in our app. We're just going to start with users, links, and bookmarks. And we're going to look at belongs to associations, has many associations, then to a lesser degree, has one. We're actually not going to, to write one of those, but uh, it'll be very clear to you how it works because it's just like has many, except uh, it's only for one associated thing instead of a whole list of them. So the first thing to point out is um, the foreign keys are in the association that belongs to something. So users don't have uh, bookmark IDs in them. If we look at user, we've just got its own information. So the bookmarks belong to the links and they belong to the users which is why they have that foreign key in them. The user has many bookmarks. So even though the user struct has no information of any bookmark, many, many bookmarks could refer to that user. The same is true for links. Many, many bookmarks could refer to the same link. So let's start by changing these from uh, this kind of just field saying that there's uh, a foreign key into a real association. And to do that, we're going to want to refer to users and to links. So let's alias them at the top just to make everything a little bit cleaner. So linkly.link and linkly.user both need to be accessible. And then we'll, uh, we'll write the new ones first. So this belongs to. The inside of belongs to, we need the name, which is specified as an atom. So belongs to link, and we need a queryable. So in that case, it's just going to be the schema, which is called link, and then any options. We don't really need any options here. The options would be for things like, uh, say you have a, a legacy database and you want to uh, specify that the foreign key is not in this format of the uh, the name of the the schema underscore ID. Maybe it's some other kind of setup, uh, or maybe the the primary key of a link is not an ID, but instead it's it's uh, I don't know like identifier or or some other key. Then we'd need to specify that. You can find all the options in Ecto's docs. We're going to do the same thing for users. So uh, belongs to user and user. So once this is done, users become aware of links. Now, last ec episode, I set up a dot .iex.exs. So we've already got all of these association, or we've already got all of these aliases set up for us. We don't need to do anything with that now. So we'll go to bookmark, to repo, let's see, we'll just say bookmarks equals repo dot all. And this is the same bookmarks that we had before. Actually, let's just get one. Maybe that's that'll be a little bit clearer. So b1 equals uh, repo dot get bookmark one. Okay, now you see this link, it says Ecto Association link is not loaded. We have link ID one, so we know which one it refers to, 
but we we also see this association not loaded message. What this means is that we haven't queried it out of the database. So in order to do that, unlike Active Record or some other systems that will automatically um, preload all of the associated data when you get something, in Ecto, it only fetches what you directly ask it to. It can make things feel a little bit more tedious at first, but on the good side, you'll never get these weird situations where your database is just getting slower and slower and slower as your app grows because you're accidentally loading, say, all of the comments on all of your blog posts and then all of the users who made those comments on all of the blog posts when you just want to load a blog index page. So we'll do the same thing as before, except now we're going to pipe this into repo.preload. So repo, actually, we'll just do it one step at a time. So B1 is bookmark one. We can do repo.preload taking the item and then what we want to preload onto it. We can either pass it in a single atom or a list of atoms. And you can do a single atom in a list. I generally use the list syntax almost all the time. So we'll preload the links. So now we have our single bookmark, but we also have the link information. And if we want to get the user, which is not preloaded right now, we could uh, we could actually just chain it like so. Uh, we could do preload because preload will return a struct, which can also be further preloaded. So repo dot preload and user. Similarly, at the very beginning, we could have done repo dot preload link and repo dot preload user or we could do it in a single operation by specifying both of the fields to be preloaded and it's possible to do more complex uh, preloads for example if user were associated with friends, we could have, we could further do something like this, but we're not going to cover that yet. We'll do that in a future episode. So we can preload all of that. However, when we load a single user or any number, so let's say we'll just load Alice. So repo.get by user and username Alice, you'll see that there's a link, or there is no link information. There's no anything information here. We, we don't have a way to preload anything onto her. And that's because we haven't set up the Ecto association going the other way. So let's do that now. We'll go to user. And now this is a has many, same kind of situation we did before. So let's, uh, I guess we'll alias it in a minute. So has many links, and this is associated with link, and that's all we need to say. We'll alias linkly dot link up here. And what's wrong? Linkly.user invalid association links. Link does not have a field user ID. Oh, that's right, because link is just a URL. It should be bookmarks, not links. So bookmarks, and this will be bookmark, and bookmark. 
Now, recompiling. We can get the user Alice. And by the way, last episode I used a map syntax, like so. You can use map or you can use a keyword list syntax and it has no effect, it has no difference. So this is actually, this is a keyword list and that's the same thing as leaving the brackets off if it's unambiguous. So anyway, we have Alice and now you notice Alice has this bookmarks association that's not loaded. So we can do the same thing we just did, repo.preload and we'll have her preload all the bookmarks. And we can even do something like preload the bookmarks, and then inside of those bookmarks, we'll preload the link. So. Like so, uh, bookmarks is plural because she can have many. Let's see, I messed up. So, oh, we just didn't close it. Okay, so now Alice has loaded, or we have loaded Alice with her bookmark and the link that that bookmark represents in each case. And this looks like a kind of, you know, kind of a, a crazy amount of stuff to load but it might be useful because we might want to have the URL of the link. So we could do something like, uh, let's just uh, set this to a variable. So we'll say Alice is that, and then we'll use enum.map on Alice, and we will return her name. So that will be the item.name, and then also the name of each of her, let's see here. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit complicated. So um, alice.bookmarks is there. So what we can do, since each of the bookmarks belongs to a single link, we can be sure that enum.map here, we can map over the bookmarks, and then inside of that, we'll have a function where we, we return, let's see, the bookmark, URL, for example, so bookmark dot link dot URL. And then you can see all of the links that she's bookmarked. So it can be useful to do these, these nested preloads like so. Um, there are times when we'll use a a single has one association, but has many is much, much. Now let's finish up the association setup here. So we set up users, we set up link. We did not set up link. So link belongs to tag and it or no link has many tags as many let's just alias first alias linkly dot tag not tag bookmark linkly dot bookmark so linkly link Link has many bookmarks. Let's make sure that's right. Yeah, bookmark belongs to link. Therefore, link has many bookmarks. And that's going to be bookmark. Save that, recompile. 
And now we can just grab some some link. So say link three is repo dot get link three. And you can see the link is indiehackers.com. And we'll see who has bookmarked it or what bookmarks are associated with it. So we'll do repo dot preload. L3, and let's get the users and the, and the, oh yeah, we'll get the bookmark, get all the bookmarks, and then in the bookmark, we'll also get the user ID or the username, actually the whole user. So bookmark and user. See if that's correct. Yep, so we can see that that particular URL was just bookmarked by Alice and nobody else. So that is some basics for setting up associations. Uh, tags, I'm not gonna cover this time because that's a more complicated association, which is a many to many, and we will do that one next time. Hope you found this useful. If so, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you next time.